morning, this is Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to the daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP. Looking at the MACD's moving averages, the day support resistance and pivot levels and the Fibonacci's. It is Tuesday the 17th of August. Jumping straight into Bitcoin against the US dollar and the hourly candlesticks has been a choppy start to the day. Going to need to see Bitcoin move through the pivot at 46.565 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 47.441. Plenty of support from the broader market is going to be needed. For Bitcoin to break back through to 47,000 levels. So, barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, should see Bitcoin target 49,000 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 48,945. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 45,061 into play. Barring an extended sell off on the day, Bitcoin should stay clear of the second major support level at 44.185. Looking at MACD, slight narrowing of the bearish histograms at the turn of the day. No signs of a bullish cross as yet, however, so keep an eye on that for direction. On the EMAs, the 50 is narrowing on the 100 and the 200, so look out for a possible bearish cross there through the day. That would weigh heavily on Bitcoin. So key through the morning would be to move through the pivot at 46.565 and back through to 47,000 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that, support levels will be in play. Moving across to Ethereum against the US dollar, also a choppy start to the day. Going to need to see Ethereum move through the pivot 3208 to take a run at the first major resistance level, seeing at 3280. Support from the broader market is going to be needed for Ethereum to break out from 3250 levels. So buying an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level resistance at 3300 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, should see Ethereum target 3,500 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 3,414. Ethereum would need plenty of support, however, to break out from the 23.6% fib at 3,369. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 3,074 into play. Barring an extended sub on day, Ethereum should continue to avoid sub 3,000 levels. Second major support level at 3,001 should limit the downside. Looking at MACD, slight narrowing of the bearish histograms at the turn of the day, but no signs of a bullish cross, so that's negative for Ethereum early on. On the EMAs, also bearish with the 50 closing in on the 100 and narrowing on the 200, so look out for a bearish cross there. So key would be to move through the pivot at 3208 and back through to 3250 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that levels will be in play. Moving across to Litecoin against US dollar, also a mixed start to the day. Going to need to see Litecoin move back through the 23.6% FIB at 178 and through the pivot at 182 to bring the first major resistance level at 186 into play. Plenty of support from the broader market is going to be needed for Litecoin's breakout from 185. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and resistance at 190 to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, should see Litecoin target 200s. Second major resistance level sits at 193. Failure to move through the 23.6% FIB and the pivot would bring the first major support level at 174 back into play. Barring an extended sell off, Litecoin should continue to avoid sub 170s. Second major support level at 170 should limit the downside. Looking at the MACD, slight narrowing of the bearish histograms, but again, no signs of a bullish cross as yet, so monitor that through the day. On the EMAs, 50 is narrowing on the 100 and the 200, but no immediate signs of a bearish cross. So keep an eye on that for direction as well, though that is bearish for now. So key would be to move back through the 23.6% FIB and through the pivot at 182 and move through to 185 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will be in play. And you're looking at Ripple's XRP against US dollar bearish start. Can only see Ripple's XRP move through the pivot at one point. 2185 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 1.2953. Support from the broader market will be needed for Ripple's XRP to break out from 1.25 levels. So, buying and extending rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and resistance at 1.3 to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, got the second major resistance level at 1.4052 to cap any upside on the day. Failure to move through the pivot, got the first major support level at 1.1086. Barring an extended sell off on the day, Ripple's XRP should avoid sub 1.0 levels. We have the 38.2% FIB at 1.0659 and the second major support level at 1.0318 to limit the downside. Looking at the MACD, slight narrowing again of the bearish histograms, but no signs of a bullish cross, so monitor that through the morning. 
On the MAs, we're seeing the 50 narrow marginally on the 100 and the 200. But again, no immediate sign of a bearish cross. So we'll need to keep an eye on that. So key through the morning would be to move through the pivot of 1.2185 and back through to 1.25 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Failures to do that, support levels will be in play.